Welcome back to a new retro, well, a new game pickup. This time will be retro. And starting off, we have a special model Game Shark. This is a Game Shark that was released for the Sega Saturn. It has, of course, special plugins and everything, obviously. But mainly, you can only find, of course, action replay cartridges. Now, this itself will not allow you to play, if I remember correctly, imports, unlike the action replay version. This just gives you cheat codes. So, just letting you know about it. But it was still a fine and very good price, surprisingly. Next, we have a PSP game. Now, you can't find this as easy as Reloaded. This is called Capcom Classics Collection Remixed. What makes this so special versus others? One, some of the games. It gives you the original Strider game. As well as 1941, Sidearms, Legendary Wings, Forgotten Worlds, Black Tiger, Avengers... Not to be mistaken with a certain other Avengers Marvel. And probably the biggest deal is also you have Captain Commando game, but the most important is you actually have the original Street Fighter game, the very first one released in 1987, 30 years old this year, the original Street Fighter. Which is what caught my attention to pick this up, because I've never had the honor to actually play the original game. Next up we have not really a big deal but for any Final Fantasy collector out there you want to try to get some of the less well known Final Fantasy games. Price wise this is actually a very reasonable price believe it or not. This runs about the same price as what you'd be paying on average for like an old uh, PS3 or 360 game. So for a GameCube game, it's actually a very good price. And on top of it being a Final Fantasy, it's incredible to find such a good deal on this. But it's, of course, part of the Crystal Chronicle series. Still need to get the original Crystal Chronicle. But this was the sequel to the original. Which allowed one to four player co-op. Next up, we have a couple that are pretty common, of course. I already have the original Xbox version, so I needed to get the PS2 version of this. Which also includes bonus Street Fighter 2 The Anime and Movie on top of Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And I picked this up for $5 at the convention, so needless to say, you can get this super cheap, and I recommend getting this. It's the cheaper route if you want to play games like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. It's a lot cheaper than getting the Dreamcast version of the game, I'll tell you that right now. This is by far the cheapest route to go. Coming in next, I was surprised to find such a good deal for this. And this is the sequel to the great PS2 um, RPG, Dark Cloud, which is... A virtual unknown games. Now, the first one sold way better than the sequel. Dark Cloud 2, though, I actually like the overall animation style better on this game. It's, it's just harder to get hold of, and I was surprised to actually find this game. Believe it or not, you can get this, if you're lucky, buy it for about 20 bucks or so, which is a great deal for Dark Cloud 2. And that's with everything. But the animation style is great, the story is a little forgettable, but the overall gameplay mechanics and everything is just really a lot of fun, and I love the animation style of this series. Next is a game I've actually never had the honor to play before. Silent Hill Origins, the prequel to, of course, the classic Silent Hill. And 
this is a game to get now before it starts skyrocketing in price. That's a piece of advice I give to any buy who's into survival war and likes the Silent Hill series. You better be buying Silent Hill games before they skyrocket. Because right now you can get this on average anywhere from probably twenty to thirty dollar range, which is good. Definitely get it while you can for that price because. Silent Hill for the room is going for about 50 and up. So definitely get these while you can get a good deal. And yeah, I honestly can't wait to try out Silent Hill Origins. I've wanted to try the prequel. It's regarded very highly overall gameplay wise and good quality. Next up is a Squaresoft game I've never had the opportunity to try out and I am so happy to finally find this. I can't believe, on average, this goes for about $40 to $60, and I can't believe I actually found it way under the normal trending price. I was stunned. But it's a great game made by some of the developers of, actually, Parasite Eve, and also, I believe, a couple of the people worked on Final Fantasy VII and Chrono Cross helped on this, and there's certain elements in it, art style, it reminds me more of the uh, Castlevania series, really. I just love the whole art direction and everything. And next is probably one of the greatest finds I found, and that is the Legend of Zelda Collection Edition, which this includes Believe it or not, this actually includes four full Zelda games. The original Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. It also includes, believe it or not, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is actually, I paid less for this than what Majora's Mask on N64 goes for by itself. So definitely, this is the best route to go. If you have a backwards compatible Wii or have a GameCube, this is definitely a must-have for any Legend of Zelda collector. This is probably the greatest find of all, at least of the games. Super Metroid for this Super Nintendo. This is a game I have actually wanted to play for years. I never got the opportunity. And given I actually found it for a reasonable price, given really overall price of this game is skyrocketing now, starting to angry soar up compared to our games in the series, this is a must-have for any Super Nintendo collector out there. Along with Final Fantasy 3 AK6 and of course Street Fighter 2 Turbo and others, this is definitely one of the must-haves of classic Super Nintendo. This is next. Picked up a couple of games to go with something else. The original Double Dragon, one of the true classic beat em ups of the arcade era of the late 80s. Next up, we have a game where, of course, you use a helicopter in order to defeat sort of an unreal shooter of sorts, but use a helicopter instead. But it's regarded as a pretty fun game overall. Thunder Black. Thunder Blade there. And of course, classic, very well known, Afterburner. Classic jet fighting game from the late 80s, from of course the arcades. Now I expected not to play Super Great Given, we're talking 8 bit. Though presentation looks good. And this was actually one of the very first action RPGs ever released on a Sega console. But I'll talk more about these things later in my game review. To this. This is the biggest find this time around for me. And this is the Sega Master System. This was the first Sega console released in North America. The Sega Genesis would be released in 1989. Sega Master System was released, surprisingly, only a few years prior. 1980, I believe it was 1987 when it was released here in the West. 
It was a flop, unfortunately, in Japan and in North America. However, it would find longevity. And I'll talk more about that later. But that's it for this special retro game pickups. And I'll see you for the upcoming game review of the Sega Master System. So, I'll see you then. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.